about all this? Are you scared about global warming? Yeah, right? I was expecting that Yeah. I mean, if you go back... Uh, to this slide, I mean, this is happening, this is all within our lifetimes. Um, and this is, I mean, I live in Boston. I live actually in East Boston, uh, right by the airport. And I live right by, right on the bay. I live right by a beach. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. But where I live now is probably gonna be underwater in like 40 or 50 years, and that freaks me out. And when you think about it, we only have really five, 10 years tops to cut down our emissions enough to, to stop the worst effects of global warming. And this is why we're here talking to you guys, because this is your future, this is your lifetime. In the year 2050, there's gonna be nine billion people on this planet, and the types of storms, um, you guys probably noticed, just within the past few years, the weather has become much more extreme. We're not used to seeing tornadoes in New England. We're not used to getting hurricanes either, like Hurricane Irene that just came this past summer. These types of things are going to continue to happen, and it's not fair, really, that our elected officials aren't doing anything about it. So that's why we're here. We're working to, all right, these are our legislators. We're working to essentially create more of a movement of youth here in Massachusetts to influence our elected officials to get them to make the right decisions now. So here are, these are our senators, our lovely senators, John Kerry, um, usually votes in favor of environmental causes. Actually, a couple years ago, he introduced some big legislation um, that would have significantly decreased the amount of carbon emissions. Um, but sadly, that bill ended up not going anywhere. and. Now we have a new Congress that cannot, are you guys up with politics so much? Now we have a new Congress that cannot agree on anything ever. So it's pretty unlikely that yeah, they, they cannot agree on how to spend any money. And it's really unlikely that we're going to see that we're going to have an opportunity to really push for good carbon cutting legislation right now. Um, and then Senator Scott Brown is also our senator. He, um, He's been more on the fence in terms of environmental issues, and he's someone that we really like to target. Um, because I haven't met him personally, although apparently he came into the restaurant that I work at a couple weeks ago and I missed him. Um, but he's supposed to be a really nice guy, and he listens to his constituents, but he also gets a lot, a lot of money from oil and gas companies, the big polluters. So, you know, it's easier for senators like Scott Brown to vote in favor of the people who are giving him money so that he can continue to get reelected. Um, that's just why it's so important that people like him, that he hears from, from you guys. Um, why clean air is important to you and why your future depends on cutting carbon emissions and stopping global warming. So, we're working to start this campaign. What you guys can do in the short term is follow our new Twitter feed. Are you guys on Twitter? Yeah. Facebook? You like that stuff? <laughs> Good. I saw it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just learning about oh, Twitter, no. and within my 50 weeks, I it's taken over my life, and <laughs> it's really addictive, but I love it. So follow me on Twitter. Um, my personal Twitter feed is at Rudy underscore Katie. And then I also just started this new Twitter feed, at you for clean air. And coming up soon, um, we're going to be doing this campaign in mid-January, um, where we're going to ask everyone, everyone, you, know, you guys and everyone you know, are going to tweet at Scott Brown. And just tell them what your clean air wish is for 2012. So it could be anything. Um, personally, I like to run, and where I run in East Boston, it's there's a lot of traffic, and whenever trucks go by, I I can feel I can tell that I'm breathing in all that exhaust, and all I can think about is what impact does this have on my lungs? And there are planes flying overhead, and I don't know what kind of impact that has, but it's probably not great. Um, so. I mean, when I think of my clean air wish, it would be to be able to run 
in my neighborhood and not worry about the effect that has on my lungs. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you, like, here in Hopkinton, it's pretty nice. Um, we pass by a nature reserve. But do you guys, like, what do you want to see this year for clean air? Maybe you haven't thought about this yet, but do you have any ideas? Us know. <laughs> <Yeah, that's cities. laughs> we're probably going to get a lot of them. Um, remember last year, um, there were so many snowstorms, and then a lot of the climate skeptics like to say things like, oh, that disproves global warming, because look how cold it is. Look at all the snow. But actually, it's consistent with global warming, because um, there's more precipitation and um, more extreme weather patterns. Is 